Okay, so we're just gonna open up laser cut 6.1. And here it is. And we can come up here to import desktop and scroll down till we get to our, there it is there, OzCut. Now the, we want to make this an absolute size. Now it's probably come in from Cavco at the size we set, which was 200 millimeters in width and not quite 200 millimeters long. So we'll just check that. Now to check that, what you do is select all the vectors, like so. Come here till that, just bring your cursor over till it touches the edge there, changes to a cross, right click, size and it's not quite as big as what we need it to be in actual fact I'm going to go a little larger than what I first thought I'm going to go in the X I'm going to go 300 and in the Y it's just 300 nearly 302 that really doesn't matter so I'm going to press OK. Nice big picture. OK, so now we need to, in the laser, we need to split this up into two sections. Because what we don't want it to do, all right, we want it to cut it out, cut all these pieces along all these vectors. But we need to leave the outside one till last. And it's not exactly perfectly square. There's a little bit here, okay, that's um, it's got a little nick in it. So what we can actually do is select that outer one and delete it. Edit. Cut. There you go. And we'll draw a new one, a perfect one. So come up here to the draw tool and we can come here and draw a new one. A little bit deeper at the bottom maybe. Just like that. Now, our new outside vector, we can put that on a separate layer because we want it to cut out at a different point in time after all these have been cut out. So we just come down here to this bottom section here and select the little blue box, which gives us a blue box up here and that outside vector is now set on that command line there. So we deselect it now. So we can deselect that now and come to our pointer. And indeed on the screen it's come up blue as well. So it distinguishes on the screen in colour what is represented up there. And what laser cut will do when we set the the cut on this, it will it will carry out these commands sequentially. In other words, it'll do the top one first, then the next one down, in that order. So now what we have to do is select is come here and select the top line which is all the the black and we are going to set the parameters uh, this is fairly close actually to what we want um, but I, I do notice that the sheet that I have got that I've, I've already used half of um, 
there's like uh, it's softwood on the outside or the outside layers and hardwood on the inside and it's harder in some places than others and sometimes in particular has what it doesn't cut all the way through now I can do two things there I can either slow the rate of speed down or I can keep the rate of speed and raise up the cutting parameter outputs, which is what we're going to do. So 20 millimeters a second, that's just a little over three quarters of an inch a second, it's a reasonable cut speed. You know, I, I don't particularly like my, my machines thrashing around. Uh, I like to preserve them and do them at a nice sedate level. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to say, um, now what this is, as the laser comes to a new position on the work, you need to punch it hole, punch a hole through with the laser very quickly. So this setting is the initial strike then of the laser to punch a hole through real quick. So we're going to raise that up to 65, uh, 65%, which is a going to be about 80 watts. It's not, it's not a linear scale. The percentage that you said here is not linear. I will in future videos uh, go into that in more, more detail. Um, corner arc, that means when the laser comes to a corner and stops and changes direction quickly, you need it to have it slightly higher there again because there's such a thing called beam drag now because when you when the laser goes through and it's moving along it sort of drags behind a little bit I'll show you that on a different video as well so believe you me you need to put in corners you need to just raise that up and I match it with with the um, the, the strike of the laser So about this time you probably would want to get yourself a cup of coffee because it, this is going to turn into a fairly long one I think. Okay so now we come to the power setting. Now we've got power one maximum and minimum. Now I always match them keeping the same. So what we're going to say here is I'm going to bump this one up a little bit to 60 and this one to 60 I think actually we can probably go to 22 because what I don't want I don't want any char in so maybe 21 actually Twenty-one. That'll be fine. Now, this one here, this line here, my laser only has one tube. You can get uh, lasers with two. Uh, some people like, you know, sort of a 50 watt la uh, tube and a 100 watt tube. Really, it's you can do everything with a, you know, you want to do with a with a 100 watt tube. And, that's the one I would uh, suggest to uh, to go for. I've got a two and a half inch lens, uh, <coughs> two and a half inch focal lens as well. That's the best one to go for. And also, if you have a preference, or if, you know, if you're if you're given a preference, uh, I would recommend a, a recce tube. Um, and if you look back in my past videos, you know, I'll give an explanation about that. Okay, um, blowing. Now this is the air assist that comes through the nozzle. Uh, always blowing. There's no reason to have it turned off. It does a number of jobs. It um, cools the lens because it comes in underneath the lens. It cools the lens. It keeps the lens clean on the underside and it blows the debris and gas 
out from underneath the uh, from out of the the work the, out of the cut. Okay, so we're going to say OK here and calculate that. I'm going to do the same with the outer one. Select it. Actually, there's no need to select it. By selecting that up there, you're doing the same thing. Uh, 65, 65, same setting, same material, and 60. Sixty, blow in and cut. Yep, there you go. So it's now set. Uh, if you notice, I've left that one at twenty. Mm, it's probably a good idea too. Maybe we'll soon find out. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save those cutting. Oh, I'm going to. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save that little program to my thumb drive. So I've got my thumb drive there, so I just label it AU cut and save it. Okay, we just drop that down and See where it is, AU cut, TXT, that's the file there. So now we'll go over to the laser, put this file into the laser and cut it out. <laughs> 